Turn up you horn nerds, it is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a film for you that you need to watch. It's a great film. It's super fun. Dare I say one of the best Australian horror films ever? Yes, I just did. So um, you need to check it out. You need it in the collection. It's fun times. I'm talking about the 2005 release of Wolf Creek. Super, super fun film. Disturbing. It is rated R. Um, it is it is a great horror film. Great horror film. Um, if you've never heard of this one um, or seen it, because it is loosely based on true events, um, which makes it even a lot cooler, um, here's what it's about. Welcome to Wolf Creek, where the suspense of the Blair Witch Project meets the horror of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, inspired by Australia's backpack killer, who murdered seven backpackers in the 90s, Wolf Creek won wide acclaim from critics, filmmakers, and audience members alike at the Sundance Film Festival. Three unsuspecting hikers take off for a drive across Australia. When the trio returns from a four-hour hike to Wolf Creek National Park, they find their car is dead. Help comes in the form of a big, back-slapping bushman, Mick. Since Mick appears to be more Crocodile Dundee than Freddy Krueger, the trio trusts him, which proves to be a grave mistake. Now, I read a bunch of stuff about the making of this film, and believe it or not, there was actually, when they were filming this, the crew actually ended up camping out that way. And they said, I was reading a thing, we're really late at night, this old truck, beaten up, pulls up to their campsite, and looks almost like the guy in the movie. And he's just checking on him saying, hey, you don't need anything in that. You don't need anything. Checking on him. And it creeped him out so much that because it was like 2 or 3 in the morning. And this beat up truck. And they, they ended up getting the hell out of there. They drove like a couple hours before they found another camping site where they felt safe. Which is insane. But anyway, this movie is super brutal. From, it's fun. Um, another thing I actually just thought of that the crew didn't realize is there's a abandoned mine that is in this movie. They didn't know it at the time, but uh, they found out and when people started protesting that this that mine is actually the site where the backpackers were actually, some bodies were found. And so they were actually filming at the exact location. Now, maybe they're saying they didn't know and they did know. I don't know. But either way, that is creepy and it's pretty jacked up and makes it even that much more crazier and it, you know it says based on true events but it is not entirely true events it's kind of loosely based kind of similar actually to the texas chainsaw massacre where it's like these are loosely based on events of people you know a serial killer but not really true but regardless i mean quentin tarantino said this is his favorite horror movie of all time so i mean that's gotta be worth something so i'm telling you it's the um, special effects, the gore, the intensity, the action, it's all there. It's shot beautifully. I think it had a million dollar budget and it grossed like 30 million. So people are watching it and you should. Um, it does feature Nathan Phillips, who was on Snakes on a Plane, as well as um, the Chernobyl Diaries, which I did a review on. So you can check that out. But dude, super fun film. You got to watch it. Um, again, way intense. Super real feeling. Wolf Creek, 2005, 7 out of 10. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell, notifications. We have more coming to you.